Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're gonna do some streaking action, maybe? Let's do some Eden runs, not on greed mode. Um, win streaks at eight, and uh, we've earned most of those, honestly. Wow, starting with Shoop the Whoop, Judas's Tongue, lots of HP, and Blue Baby's only friend is pretty sweet. V13FXWQ1. We've got, like, a lot of different spectrums. Oh, that was a complete waste of uh, Shoop the Whoop, but we got a lot of different spectrums over which to deal damage right now. Like, we got the, um... We got the Blue Baby's Only Friend. We've got our own tiers. We've got Shoop to Whoop. And now we also have the ability to, uh... Sneak out some cheap deals with the Devil, of course. I I've really, like, soured a little bit, power rankings-wise, on Judas's Tongue. Because it sounds so good. You're like, well, half-price deals with the Devil, that's awesome. But they're really not half-price deals with the Devil. Probably, like, 80 to 90% of deals with the Devil are still going to be full price at one heart. So first you have to get the deal with the devil, and then the deal with the devil has to, um, oh, this is a perfect Larry Jr. room. And then the deal with the devil has to actually cost two hearts for you to get anything out of it to begin with. And if you only have spirit hearts, it gives you no benefit whatsoever. So, I really think that Judas's tongue has gone from, like, guaranteed good shit to, like, situational good shit. But there's no denying that if you can actually manage to make it work, you know, you know good gravy for you then. That being said, please don't take this as complaining. Really, all, all I need to be happy on an Eden run is decent starting HP. So we have, like, the prospect of living for the future. Um, apart from that... Oh my god, how'd you get real tiny there? Um, apart from that, uh, everything else is just is just glorious, you know? Any, any extra advantages you want to give me are fine by me. Yeah, okay. As if we didn't have a weird enough run before, let's start shooting bombs out of our face. And uh, make it just that much weirder and this is actually gonna be awesome from a uh, a room killing perspective but probably kind of unfortunate from a self taking damage perspective but maybe we can get enough money here to go to our shop and if we go to our shop ooh, it's looking it's looking plausible we can always hurt ourselves to get more money if necessary here uh, but I think this is our secret room anyway probably inside of our secret room we get mr. mega which is so good <laughs> that's Actually really amazing with the uh, the items we already have. Oh my god, and we get steam sale and six more cents So that actually for sure allows us to buy an item from the shop at the cost of not being able to buy a spirit heart um, Well, here's what I think let's try to crack these I'd rather hurt myself than blow up the donation machine at this point. So let's get um, The spirit heart and we'll get battery baby to go along with it and I don't even think we need the HP from this floor. Um, we'll just try to find the quarter or a second secret room or whatever, you know, whatever we can fit in here. Um, I'm not going to sweat the second secret room, I guess, now that we're moving on. And this is probably a really, really comfortable position for us to be in here when it comes to actually winning this run, which is awesome. Obviously. I'm, I'm quite a big fan of winning runs, especially if we can do it in, a, in an entertaining fashion as well. The downside here is that I really, at this point, do not give a shit about Blue Baby's only friend. Because moving it is going to cause us to shoot bombs, which is probably going to cause us to hurt ourselves. But Dr. Fetus, I think, is a little more novel than uh, Blue Baby's only friend at this point. There Now, there is an argument to be made. Ah, for blowing up uh, every single pot, I'm sure. But, uh... I'm, I'm probably not going to do that, so you might as well just prepare yourself for that. Um, skulls, I'll be, I'll try to be a little bit more diligent about, but uh, everything else, I think, is uh, kind of inconsequential. This should be a library. It's not a library, but what I meant, I guess, is that it's not going to be a, um, it's not going to be a shop because the shop is up there. So with our world card, we can find the secret room, which we probably would have found regardless, but. Nice to know regardless, regardless, regardless. Watch out for those troll bombs. Uh, via Steam Sale, certainly enough money to go to our uh, shop and buy something. Okay, so it's important to note, when we shoot Shoop the Whoop, it doesn't actually shoot a bomb, even though we have to press the D-pad or the, the arrow keys to do it. Oh my god, Northern Lion exposed. Oh, Goathead's really good. He's using a controller instead of a keyboard, blah, no, I'm actually not. I tell you, there are games I, I'm not ashamed to use the controller for. Even some first-person shooters, which just makes everybody else cringe, but, uh, it's what's most comfortable for me, right? But when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, uh, Isaac, I'm a controller guy through and through. Bear was playing Rainbow Six Siege on his, uh, 
on his 360 controller, which I think is a little out there. But again, it's what makes you comfortable, man. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Now, we did pick up a ventricular razor thanks to Curse of the Blind, which is not very good, of course. Uh, we'll see what this card is. The world. I mean, we could save it for the next floor. Use Algiz on this floor to fight Pin. That doesn't seem worth it. Especially when one bomb finishes the job. No need to use Shoop to Whoop, I guess. We can save it with a battery charge anyway. Uh, we'll take this. It's HP, and we'll take this for precedent. Cambian Conception. Actually, pretty sweet. Down to the next floor. Really, really good setup. Um, not gonna get any worse in all likelihood as a result of that uh, goat head, so... I'd be pretty happy with the way this looks right now. We have a great space bar item and a really, really effective way to deal damage outside of that space bar item as well. Not to mention, you know, good uh, extracurricular items here as well in the form of uh, Goat Head, Pentagram, even Cambian Conception. You know, if you pick it up early enough, you would expect to probably have a decent chance to get some uh, to get some love out of that. Yeah, hopefully we'll backtrack and get that, but I'm not going to sweat one penny too hard here. Mostly because that penny gives us bombs, and I... How did you live through that? I don't really care about getting bombs, considering... We have unlimited bombs, as is, effectively. Okay, good. Got a good amount of crowd control here. Mom's eye... Or, sorry, Kane's eye. It's okay. I don't think it's as good as, as getting more bombs, but I kind of wish that I'd stuck with Judas's tongue here. Even though it wouldn't have been useful for us on that first deal with the devil. I wouldn't have minded. I don't know why I shot at that one. Are you a wizard? Uh, doesn't affect our bombs, so... Nothing to complain about there. More battery charges from Battery Baby, man. And the D10, I would say this is pretty much hot garbage. I know I left a bomb back there. It's a bad habit to get into, but what can I say? Um, bad Habit is uh, my rap name. Also, Bad Habit wouldn't be bad for us to pick up here. By Bad Habit, I mean Nun's Habit. That doesn't really... It's... I, I use that voice to try to manufacture some excitement where none existed. Ansus. Dagaz. Awaz. Just, you know, any rune that gives us an immediate benefit, we're gonna take. Tears Up is pretty good. We're gonna roll uh, Algiz for this boss fight and then take Yera with us in the future just because... I mean, that's, that seems sensible to me. Might as well use it, I guess, before the fight ends, although it's already over. Thanks a lot, Peeper's Eye. Didn't let me get my money's worth. Speed upgrade's good. Telepills is uh, not bad because we still uh, get our deal with the devil here regardless. Thanks to Goathead, but it could have been bad. I mean, that's like the exact reason you never take a pill before you go into a deal with the devil that you actually earned. But uh, we, we got out of it just fine. Pick this up. Did you give me a bomb? You did give me a bomb. Perhaps one day in the future that'll matter. For now, it does not. I don't know how I'm missing enemies with, like, Mr. Mega Bombs that are attached to them. Beats me. That was uh, a panic bomb, and it worked out perfectly for us there. A panic fart very rarely works out perfectly for you. You ever have a panic fart that you're like, oh, thank God, that fart scared off, you know, a predator or something like that. Have you ever had a panic fart in general? Now that I think about it, I don't think I have either. When I panic, I don't really fart. I just go, oh, shit, you know? A panic, oh, shit, is totally different. Not a panic ocean, that's when you pee your pants. Oh, look at the kid's got a little panic ocean going there. See, you know, there's context for this. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Panic ocean, P-N-I-Q-U-I-S-S-I-U-N, panic ocean. It's an old Métis word that means uh, to piss yourself. We're still fine here. I mean, obviously we're fine here, but uh, just in case you were looking for a, a progress update. The run looks beautiful, and so do you. Have you guys been working out out there, sticking to those New Year's resolutions? You're, it's working for you. You're looking good. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like feeling good about yourself. Uh, leave a comment below about one time you felt good about yourself before in your life, and we can all relate to it. It's definitely not just for search engine optimization pur purposes here. Okay, we're at seven and a half HP. That's enough to feel good, considering we're probably gonna start trading some real soon, uh, thanks to having already fought Cramperino, so. Let's grab this. 
nuke these guys down. You know what? Blue Baby's only friend. Slight time to shine. Now it's still like it's because our range is really bad. Blue Baby's only friend just is not uh, advisable for us in most situations here. We need to get a key, unfortunately. It's a lot, an awful lot of key-related problems here. Blind Rage. I mean, what do we need bombs for, right? We might as well go for this, but. A little surprised that, from a consumable standpoint, we haven't been able to get into every item room and shop, and we really don't have that much money either. Maybe we should have stuck with Swallowed Penny? I don't know. As long as I, you know, keep getting tons of HP and tons of damage, who am I to complain? I'm gonna take Headless Baby, and I'm not gonna take Little Brimstone. And you're gonna say, what is wrong with you? Little Brimstone is a much better item than Headless Baby. That's true, but I can't charge it. If I charge it, I'm gonna spit out like eight bombs and have a really, really high chance to hurt myself. No matter how like nicely I'm trying to play, like how, how conservatively I'm trying to play, that's just gonna happen. So I think, unfortunately, Little Brimstone would be kind of a waste of HP here. Is this really not our secret room on the top or the bottom? Apparently not. We are at Caves 2 at nine minutes in, so let's try to keep it in perspective here. It's not like the run's going south. It, I, I hate to say going south. I know it's a figure of speech, but, you know, how would you feel if your whole life, you know, you lived in, like, Missouri or something like that, and everyone always says going south as if it's a bad thing instead of going home to visit your uncle and aunt? Northern Lion, do you really say aunt? I have to admit, I got into the habit of saying aunt. I'm looking for a gift for my aunt. Which we, in North, North America, usually people say aunt. But when I was teaching English uh, in South Korea, oh, we have two keys now, okay. When I was teaching English in South Korea, whenever I would do like the lesson on family, all of the kids would correct me and be like, uh, teacher, you said aunts, it's actually aunts. I don't know if they had a particularly snobby, like British teacher at some point in their life uh, who taught them that and taught them to incessantly correct uh, other people. But basically, I just got tired of, like, six-year-olds correcting me, despite the fact that they're there to learn a language from someone who actually speaks it. And, uh, I was like, you know what? Sure, aunts. So I started saying it, just to, just to save myself a little grief. We can go to our, oh, we can't get out that way. We can go to our shop, though. And our item room, of course. And you might be saying, Northern Lion, why didn't you instead take that opportunity to teach those kids a lesson about, um... You know, maybe not being so incessantly correcting people when, when they're wrong, and maybe being a little bit more polite about it. The answer is, uh, have you ever tried to talk to a six-year-old man? It, it's, it's surprisingly, it's like pulling teeth a little bit. Six-year-olds do not have adult levels of reasoning for the most part. And I know we'd love to live in a world where, oh, every child is a, an indigo child that can, you know, move, uh, well, I might as well use bombs here, that can, you know, move mountains with the power of their mind or something like that, but the reality is that a six-year-old kid doesn't understand that. They just get a sweet dopamine rush from being like, look, I'm smarter than this adult. The only thing you can do is play their game and then mark them down a little bit on their next assignment. I'm joking, I wouldn't do that. Lowest mark we could give was a C anyway, so... Uh, let's blow this guy up. We'll definitely take restock, because it gives us the highest percentage chance to get sweet shit in the future. We get a Joker card, and a Two of Hearts. Uh, the Yara Rune is way better, obviously. And I think Maggie's Faith is way better than Blind Rage, and we should be able to get a lot of use out of it regardless. Because of the fact that, uh, we're never gonna take damage. Like, we're, we're never gonna take Red Heart damage anyway. Sure! Let's take Tammy's Head, Dr. Fetus. This is a terrible decision that I'm making for entertainment purposes only. Do not try this at home. Unless you're recording YouTube videos at home. In which case, yo. Back off, this is my turf. I am the danger. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to think twice about doing that in the future. But for now, <laughs> could be fun at least. Tears up. Tears up. Hold on to this Yara. I'm glad I used my key, because it's certainly gonna make things interesting here. Two golden bombs. That's exceptionally useless. Alright, the only way we can do this is by moving into the center of the room. So if the room does not have a center, as this one does not, we just that was a lesson in what not to do. Um, then we can't pop Tammy's head. So really, our usefulness here is going to be quite low. But if the room does have a center, no, it still hurts us. Maybe thanks to Mr. Mega there. So really what we're holding out for here is Pyro. And if we can get Pyro, that's dope. And there's a chance... Sorry, Pyromaniac. There's a chance, thanks to Shop Restock, if we can get... Um, 
we can get a lot of items purchased and chaos, maybe that'll do it. But for now, I'm holding on to Tammy's head in the hopes that at some point in the future, it'll it'll prove to be incredible for us. It's also possible if I got the ability to fly, then I think Tammy's head. Nice. I think Tammy's head could let us pop bombs in the center of a room and uh, like in boss rush, for example, in big rooms, and we could get a lot of value out of it that way. Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac. Holy water. That is probably the opposite of Pyromaniac from a usefulness standpoint, but if we're gonna hurt ourselves, I suppose we might as well get a small benefit out of it. I guess we could also get Host Hat. Might even be more likely because it's probably not a special item, but you know, we're kind of grasping at straws either way. But I wasn't really using Shoop the Whoop, so you know, I can't, I can't be uh, insulted, I guess. Any way out here? Probably not. Uh, luckily, Black Lotus has like totally buffed our HP pool to the point where we're very, very unlikely to cause ourselves so much damage that we're screwed. We can always mess up our donation machine to try to buy as much as possible as well. Uh, not on this floor, though. That will have to wait. 14 cents. 19 cents. Uh, actually, if we can get to 21. Yeah, that'll do it. 24. That's three items from the shop. Which is not insignificant, especially if the first one is Chaos. Eh, Demon's Tail is what it is, but I'd much rather take uh, Maggie's Faith and keep our HP a little bit higher. So that we don't uh, put ourselves in considerable risk of death. Good shit. Magic 8-Ball is actually pretty solid here. Double Tammy's head play on that blank card? I would say no. Dark Matter's also good. Basically, we get one free deal with the devil per floor as a result of Maggie's faith and Goathead, which is like, yeah, sign me up, man. That's a deal that I can get behind. Bad bomb. Bad bomb, bad bomb. Oh, what you gonna do, what you gonna do when that combustion comes back to you? Bad bomb. That was my song, Bad Bomb. Completely unrelated to the song Bad Boys by Inner Circle, aka the theme song from Cops. That was a great bomb. It doesn't one-shot him, which kind of surprises me, but it's not like he's got much more in the tank afterwards regardless. 26, or sorry, six keys, 24 cents. Chose the wrong direction there. Tons of time, by the way. So if I find a, uh, if I find a card that allows us to teleport, we should definitely take it. We can get into and out of boss rush. Uh, pretty easily here. Oh my god. If there's no greed in our shop, we now have 46, which is like almost seven items. It's six and a bit. Six and like one donation machine down the drain. Our item room has Explosivo, which may actually do nothing for us. But is, a, is an excellent item if somehow we lose our, uh, Look like it could be a secret room there. If somehow we lose our bombs as our uh, preferred method of shooting, then Explosivo will be nice. Uh, make sure that we you know, don't completely lose out on a lot of damage there. So I do think that a big room gives us a chance to make that work. But I guess the corollary or the, the counter argument is that it also gives us a much larger chance to just hit absolutely nothing, which is what happened there. Definitely don't want to try that on this room. Not sure if that should have worked, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. We got out of it either way. Terrible damage. Let's no oh, second secret room though, and we got leech from KB in Conception, I think. Which the life steal there may actually be worth something. Okay, pretty fly. Tears up. Good pills. Tele pills. One makes you larger. I found pills. Why would I take I found pills? I don't know. But we got tele pills, which allows us to get out of the boss room with a slight risk of finding ourselves on a. Oh wow, what a shot! Thanks to that bomb uh, bounce there. What I was gonna say is we got a slight risk of getting an error room and thus losing our Yera of rune. Getting an error room, losing the Yera rune. Getting an error room. Losing the Yer Rarun. It's surprisingly tough to say. There's an English lesson for you. Although Yera, I, th I believe, is in, in some kind of Nordic language. Perhaps. Um, we did keep our Eternal Heart alive. Take the Polaroid. Uh, take the Pact. Even though HP is going to be a little dicey. 
and take Stigmata and then get out of here. And the telepills worked out just fine. Alright, now we need to find the shop and then just try not to forget the Yara rune. Arcade is... It's interesting, but without like an Algiz rune or a chariot card, I don't think I can really justify it. That was very, very lucky that I dodged that red fly in there. I really can't afford to lose my HP. Uh, my eternal heart. It might become very precious as the game continues here. But I'm, I'm very pleased with the fact that we kind of got back to basics, you know? After, uh, after making some pretty poor plays, I'm surprisingly not dead. Our, this is not a shop. This is a library. Um, honestly, I don't think any of these are worth using a key on. It's possible that we could get enough uh, books and libraries in the future to to get like full room rerolls or full room item rooms, but it's it's pretty unlikely. It's unlikely enough that I don't even really want to gun for it just because there's so few floors left. But I do know that taking a book, picking up a book, increases your chances of getting a library in the future. So there's something to be said about about that strategy. But probably it's more what. It's more suited if you have a D6. It sucks that there's only one item on, on this, but we'll start. Bogo Bombs. Uh, box of Friends is more useful for us for sure. Mom's Box has given us uh, two trinkets I'm not a huge fan of, but it did give us the map. Broken Stopwatch. Placebo. Nightlight. I will definitely pay for PhD. And then, with Placebo, we might be able to get two plays out of whatever the pill is. Tears up, so yeah, there you go. Two tears ups. Do I really want nine volts? Sure, okay. Like, why not, I guess? It's just one more item. Our donation machine's still looking pretty strong. Take nine volt. Gives us another charge on something. We'll probably use it on Mom's box. Uh, nope, it's, it's stuck to this one, unfortunately. Uh, I think that's gonna do it, but I'm gonna do one last thing. Blow this up. Take the money. Buy this, donate the last two cents. I guess we could buy unlimited spirit hearts, but where's the fun in that? Again, Box of Friends is kind of the right play here, but uh, I'm less concerned about that. I love the idea that maybe, just maybe, we could make Tammy's head into a wonderful item for us here. At, at the risk of possibly killing ourselves, yes. How much do you want to bet he's gonna forget the Yara rune on this floor? I bet all the money in the world if you forget the Yara rune on this. I fucking got you. I got you! As we head down to the womb with the map now as well. Should be able to pretty easily divine which direction we go in in order to, uh, in order to get to the end as quickly and safely, more importantly, as possible. Uh, I, on many of these rooms that are large and annoying, will probably just bomb my way through. Not on all rooms, because that's kind of boring and ungame-like for me, at least for what I like in the game, but uh, on large, shitty rooms, I'm bombing my way through uh, without any remorse. Am I going to fight Hush here? No, because I fought Hush on a run today, and I hate him, and you can divine for yourself what happened um, with that knowledge intact. Good stuff, okay. Like this room, it makes no sense to bomb if we're just gonna kill them quickly anyway. We did get hit, but I think we would've gotten hit even if we did bomb. This feels like a secret room to me. It is indeed. Took a little bit of a leap of faith there considering that uh, it didn't have two rooms surrounding it, but that one is like so heavily weighted to be a secret room that I think it's uh, a fairly safe bet, I guess. Now, I definitely should have moved and chose not to. Still gonna get our eternal heart here unless something goes horribly wrong against death, which, I mean, could have. We can get hit twice against death. That's not unreasonable. Now it's probably unreasonable. But there, there was a time where anything could have happened. Get cube of meats. Ah, I don't think we want the nail, which is, you know what? We definitely do. This is, this is wrong. <laughs> we also just got Leviathan out of it. Um, oh, stop. Stop with that. Um, now, we're in a great position. In fact, if we went to the Hush fight, we could actually find a shop that we could use uh, restock with. But uh, I, I sort of 
want to just kind of roll with this. We'll see how our HP looks. Now that we have a lot of HP, the Hush fight is not out of the question. But uh, our bombs aren't doing so much damage that I would think that it's like a great idea, but I could be wrong. What, what constitutes a great idea in Isaac? I think something that entertains people is a great idea. What's up, I'm Tane, your latest dancer. Let's test our theory. Nope, no secret room there. I will go to our cursed room. Sorry, Demon Judgment. And we can actually save our nail charge for rooms that it's pertinent to use it on. This is another secret room likelihood here. Um, yeah, we can save it for rooms that it's likely or it's pertinent to use it on, but uh, the battery enables us to do that. Oh, this room is like, they're not even giving me a choice there. It's just, you know, Path of Least Resistance made that pretty obvious. Uh, no battery charge. An Emperor card. Not quite as good as a Yera, I'd say. You may or may not agree. Well, we're not going to have a nail charge for our boss fight. We wouldn't have a nail charge for the Hush fight. I think we're going to skip the Hush. Not because I think he's... Like, we're not strong enough, just because I think it's kind of an annoying fight, and I like items that minimize that annoyance. We have some of those, like, like Nightlight uh, eliminates the fact that his shots travel super quickly. Makes the bullet hell a little easier some of the time. Um, but I don't think it's quite enough to swing my to swing my vote in that favor, honestly. Check our deal with the devil. This could change it, but it doesn't look like it's gonna. Guppy's Collar is fine. Uh, head up to the next floor. Obviously, we're gonna be yara in the chest here. Oh, baby, talk dirty to me. Pull on my turnip and yara the chest. Ooh, make sure you drop the left hand first, though. It wouldn't want it to get dirty. It's about time for my arrival. What is the, what is making that slow there? That's just death. Death is making that slow there. Okay. Well, that makes my job easier. I don't think we have sticky bombs, but our bombs appear to be sticking to things, but I think it's just an optical illusion caused by the physics of the game. Why am I doing this room? I know we just went through all that to kill death, and now I'm just gonna leave, but in my defense, fuck that room. We don't need to be there, so I'm out. In fact, we don't need to really be here either. Anytime a boss wants to show up, I'm happy to tell him to suck on my nuts. And this is indeed our boss fight. Alright, well we can't do that on the cathedral, which is good news for those of you who hate that bomb strat, but... Anytime an enemy is not gonna die in like three bombs... I'm gonna make it my mission to show them how wrong they've lived their lives just by skipping by them completely. And I'll see you on the next run if you're still alive down there. That would be an interesting mechanic. If rooms were like static... So, uh, if you didn't kill a room on one run, it got like twice as hard on the next run, but then the layouts would have to be the same, and it's, you know, it's a whole thing. But it's interesting to think about. So I'm standing here, taking kind of a gamble to get hit, um, in the hopes that uh, I can get that battery charge and get two spirit hearts instead of picking it up right now and just getting one. Seems sensible to me. Could have just picked it up and taken two down to the next floor, which is a much smarter idea. Oh, how much you want to bet? I bet all my money double or nothing. He's going to forget to use the Yara rune anyway. What's the point? He always forgets. There you go. Well, he did forget to use it at one point in his life. I can't disagree with that. Oh, the D6. Well, we'll use the nail. Pick up the D6. Pick up the miter. Everything else can suck on it. We're going to re-roll it all. What's good? Um... I think maybe none of this is exciting enough for me to take. At this point, I'm really looking for bomb synergies. Now, we do have Battery Baby, so I would love to see... Uh, not only chests, of course, but if I could just get, like, batteries from Battery Baby, that's fine, too. We're already halfway to a charge thanks to a little extra push from Battery Babe. Well, Battery Babe sounds like a, a vibrating electronic pocket pussy. I, I said that in my head before I said it out loud. And I was like, that's not going to feel right coming out of your mouth. And it didn't. But I did it anyway because that's half of the humor, I guess. Oh, man. Nothing from that one either. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Well, luckily, carrying Queen a little low on the HP side of things. We're also sharing the same dreams. Uh, no more love on the run. I've heard the rest of the lyrics of Carrying Queen. I have Caribbean Queen. I have no idea. Oh, Caribbean Queen. Never sharing the same dream. I, 
forget. It's the third lyric. It's like, when we're having fun, no more love on the run. Something like that. Neighbors probably convinced I have some sort of mental disorder. Not that that's anything to be ashamed of. But uh, whatever ones I've got it is unrelated to the singing there. I promise you that. Okay. Well, I think Tech X will do nothing for us. But it's kind of fun. Let's, let's see if it does anything for us. Like, can I even charge? Oh, no. Every time I shoot, there's a bomb with a little ring around it. I like this. I like this a good deal. I'm not sure how practical it is, but it at least looks cool. It's like we're shooting a freaking, uh, you know, like a chocolate-covered strawberry at him or something. Wheel of Fortune? Ah, uh, we should use that on the other room to get the D6, but, you know, I'd take experimental treatment either way, so... Doesn't really bother me. Speed is way higher now. We gotta try to shoot to miss enemies now, which is a hard thing to wrap your head around, but... Um, when it works, it works. Alright, we got one more room before the boss... What? This is not the boss area? This is very surprising to me, I must admit. Alright, let's go back. There's no way it's that room on the left that I just ignored, right? And by no way, I mean, it has to be there, and I'm only now coming to terms with the fact that I completely overlooked it, but at least it let me get Tech X. Uh, then we'll take Poison Bombs, Rotten Baby, Sad Bombs, might as well take the Rosary. In fact, we might as well take Prayer Card, but there's also no reason to take Prayer Card, really, because it's going to give us one extra HP regardless. I suppose if we lost almost all of our HP but one, we could fill it up on this floor with prayer card instead of just having an eternal heart, but it's uh, completely inconsequential to our actual purposes here. I mean, Sad Bombs is mostly a cool synergy in this situation. It's not really a super amazing effective synergy. Bob's Curse is probably better, um, which is sad to say, but uh, it's fun nonetheless. That was a good run. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I really appreciate it.